Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. This video is for the students of the English department of the University of Fez and uh, in general and in particular for brother Yasin al Um He had asked me to help him out with this so uh, inshallah this is what he's looking for. Um, uh, my name is Gary LaRocque. I am from Canada. I've been born and raised in this country. I'm English-French descent. I do not speak French Unfortunately, I'm not sure why my family doesn't have that part. We have a very French name, very French heritage, but we don't speak French. Um, I've lived here my entire life. I accepted Islam in 2007 after uh, a few years of seeking guidance, basically. So, um, so yeah, I'm very active online doing dawah or invitation to, to invite people because it's very important that for someone like myself, I came into this, you know, I believe, the, the best way of life and people unfortunately have a very bad image of it. Uh, so um, what people think in Canada is kind of different. People are starting to pay attention to Islam, but when I was a kid nobody really cared. We come from, Canada is a very multicultural society. People from all around the world, it's very important for people to uh, to be able to practice and believe. And we have freedom of speech, but Canadians tend to be in general uh, polite in our freedom of speech, unlike other countries. And uh, it is changing, unfortunately. The, some of the youth are getting more aggressive, more attitude. Some older people are getting uh, more attitude as well. So I think because there's such a negative spotlight on Islam, this is affecting people's views. So there's a mixed type of thing. The people that do pay attention and ask about Islam uh, often have a very negative attitude because they're learning the wrong information. Whereas people like myself that had no interest in Islam are more likely to, to approach it in a, from an objective standpoint and ask questions because we're seeking truth, we're seeking things that will benefit us. So, and uh, yeah, so uh, before Islam, um, as I just said, I, I really didn't think much about it. Uh, some people were triggered by 9 11 to investigate Islam, but it didn't really have an impact on me in regards to my, my seeking of, of things. Um, uh, my interest in Islam kind of came later. It, uh, as I said, I was, you know, I'm, I'm French, English, so Christian heritage, and uh, I did believe, for the most part, that there was something uh, greater than us, someone, a uh, divine being, but I, I couldn't really define who that was. So Islam has actually given me that. It, it has given me a position where I now I have a definition of who our creator is, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I didn't have that before, so that was that was something that's changed dramatically. And because of that foundation, being able to define who God is, I am able to um, set boundaries and follow the boundaries which he's defined in my life, which, I, again, I didn't have before. So the, so accepting Islam has really given me that that aspect, something that's really important. We all need boundaries and guidelines, and, and I didn't have that before, and I got myself into a lot of trouble. I was creating my own way, but now uh, with Islam, I have... A set guideline, right? I have I have a goal in my life, which is akhira or the afterlife, and uh, so yeah, this that was a huge impact. Now I have a goal in my life. I have an understanding and a definition, a clear definition of who God is or Allah, and I have boundaries within my life, which are helping me to become a better person and to remove the uh, bad habits from my life. And this is what Islam has given me. Um, yeah, what do I love about Islam is um, pretty much what I just said. Uh, it's the fact that uh, that before I didn't have these guidelines and boundaries, and I was always pushing the the limits of what authority would dictate. What can I do? What I can't do? If they told me somebody told me not to do something, I would find ways to get around that. So uh, now I, I'm still enjoying my life. I'm loving my life. I'm, I'm appreciating life much more. The fact that I can see, smell, taste, touch. All of these types of things, like all of these simple things that we take for granted, have really uh, become important to me, right? The fact that I can do these types of things and talk to people. Um, more often, it would be nice to be able to talk face to face, but uh, because of the distance we're we're here, it's, it has to be through video. But uh, but yeah, so uh, Islam is is for me is is a, a wonderful thing that that gives me what I need to be a better person, and this is what I loved about it the most. Other religions don't always have a predefined; they have Yes, be good to people and general ideas, but with Islam, it's very documented. The Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, 
piece of paper on him. His life is very documented. And it's a great example that, that you don't find in other belief systems. So, inshallah, this is, uh, God willing, this is what you were looking for, Akhi. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you.